This will sound very strange, but today is October 25th. Yesterday, October 24th, in the morning, there was a shooting at a school in St. Louis. The shooter's name was Orlando Harris. And this is a major prophetic sign that is predicting that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash that will be caused due to a bird strike in St. Louis on precisely December 23rd, 2022. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this timestamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. After Harris's death, she will be replaced by Michelle Obama, and soon after, Barack Obama will replace Michelle. This is the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. It is so that Barack Obama can become the president again. It is predicted that Michelle Obama will very soon become the 47th president, and soon after that, Barack Obama will become the 48th president. In the Bible, a goat is symbolism for the Antichrist. In pop culture, goat stands for greatest of all time. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash after her plane's engine will suffer a bird strike. As a result, the goat Antichrist will come to power. The goat of college football coaching died at the age of 61 and was born in 1961. The goat Antichrist was born in 1961 and will become the president again and the Antichrist at the age of 61. Coach Mike Leach won 84 games with the Texas Tech Raiders and this year when he died at the age of 61, his team had a record of 8-4. and four. The goat Antichrist was born on the date 8-4 in 1961. In the Bible, a period of 10 days is symbolism for the period of persecution from the goat Antichrist in the end times. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash due to a bird strike 10 days after the goat of college football coaching died. Coach Mike Leach was famous for leading the FBS conference in offense in 10 of his 21 seasons as a coach and he was famous for coaching the Texas Tech Red Raiders for 10 years, and he was famous for his revolutionary air raid style of offense. The name air raid hints at a bird strike. The air raid coach died 96 days after the Queen of England died at the age of 96 as a result of Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash due to a bird strike Michelle Obama will become the Queen of America. Michelle Obama will return to the White House as a result of Harris's death in a plane crash due to a bird strike that will be 10 days after the death of the air raid coach who coached the Red Raiders for 10 years, which in turn was 97 days after she returned to the White House for the unveiling of her portrait on the date September 7th, which is 9-7 and hints at 97, because 97 is the 25th prime number and the 25th amendment will be used to make her the president, and then the 25th amendment will be used to make her husband the president again. Michelle Obama will replace the 49th U.S. Vice President and then become the president as a result of the death of the 49th vice president in a plane crash caused by a bird strike, which will be 10 days after the death of the air raid coach who coached the Red Raiders for 10 years. And this was in turn exactly 49 months after her book Becoming was released because she will become the president. Michelle Obama will become the first female president and the 47th president as a result of Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash that will be 10 days after the death of the air raid coach who coached the Red Raiders for 10 years which in turn was exactly 47 weeks after the death of Lucia Harris, 
the queen of basketball, who was the first and only woman to be drafted by the NBA, and Michelle Obama will replace Kamala Harris, the first female vice president, and then become the first female president, the 47th president, and her husband is the basketball president, the death of the goat of college football coaching, the air raid coach, which hints at the bird strike of Kamala Harris's airplane, died exactly 1109 weeks after the air raid on the Twin Towers and the Pentagon on 9-11 in 2001. The number 1109 hints at 110 and 9. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to point to the 110 floors of the Twin Towers that collapsed and George Washington's walk down Wall Street after his first inauguration at Federal Hall and into the church that was the only building at Ground Zero to have survived the falling debris due to the uprooted sycamore tree that sheltered and protected Trinity Church. In God's judgment warning to ancient Israel in the book of the prophet Isaiah 9:11, says that the buildings have collapsed and the sycamore trees have been uprooted. In what today is known as the Miracle Chapel, George Washington consecrated the nation to God, saying that if the nation were to ever turn away from God, it would lose its divine protection and blessings. Wall Street is named after the nine-foot-high wall of security that the Dutch built to keep the British and the Indians out. And in the Bible, Joshua died at the age of 110, and he led the Hebrews around the walls of security before they collapsed in God's judgment. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to symbolize all of this. And Joshua is a type for Jesus, and Jesus' first coming was officially on the date 110 in the Hebrew calendar. Two towers that were each 110 stories high is symbolism for Jesus' second coming. That God pairs 9 and 110 together to point to 9-11 is the reason why the iconic Air Force plane in the collapse of Afghanistan on the prophetic 20th anniversary of the collapsed 110-story buildings on 9-11 was number 1109, which hints at 110 and 9. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is predicted to be 10 days after the death of the air raid coach, which was exactly 1109 weeks after the planes crashed into the Twin Towers on 9-11. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is predicted to be 10 days after the death of the air raid coach, which was exactly 90,011 days after the nation was born on July 4th, 1776. America will lose its independence 90,011 days after it established its independence. This video is also predicting that famous actor James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King and the voice of Darth Vader, will die on December 30th, 2022. This video is also predicting that there will be a catastrophic asteroid hit on Earth on September 2nd, 2023. This will be a fulfillment of what is described in the book of Revelation in the Bible in chapter 8. It has been known since the autumn of 2020 that she will die in a plane crash. But as can be seen here in this email, it was known since August of 2021. Currently at this time, there is no way of knowing where Kamala Harris plans to be on December 6th. But if her plane crash occurs in St. Louis, then another video on this channel that is titled Prediction Harris's Plane Will Crash in St. Louis on December 6th will become one of the most important videos on this channel. Once this prediction comes to pass, you should know that you need to watch every minute of every video on this channel, including every Kamala Harris prediction video and James Earl Jones prediction video. There is specific and unique and important messages from God in each of the videos. However, arguably one of the top most important Kamala Harris videos is the 1989 World Series Earthquake Prophecy video. 
I have also titled this video Church of Philadelphia Signs. In the description box below, I will leave links to these videos. The reason God has given me a voice through this prediction is to prove that everything that I am saying in this video is true. Proving all of the main conclusions in this video is the purpose for God giving this prediction in this video. All right, there was a school shooting on October 24th in St. Louis, and the shooter's name was Orlando Harris. And God used this to point to the upcoming history-changing plane crash when Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis on November 3rd. It needs to be said that mass shootings are often prophetic signs from God. One of the things that school shootings point to are abortions. Mass school shootings have been judgment warning from God for abortions. It is judgment on the parents that condone the murder of unborn babies. Of the murder of their kids in school is judgment for this. You must watch the Uvalde shooting prophecy video on this channel. But that said, once this prediction comes to pass, you will know that you need to watch every single minute of every video on this channel. There is something else that shootings symbolize, which I will explain in a minute. All right, this video was produced before November 3rd. November 3rd was the penultimate date in the trail of signs that is leading to the death of Kamala Harris. Many other videos on this channel explain the signs that occurred on November 3rd, including arguably the most important Kamala Harris prophecy video, which is the 1989 World Series earthquake prophecy video. These signs communicated a 33 days count from November 3rd to December 6th. And as explained in the other videos, including the 1989 World Series Earthquake Prophecy video, the signs on December 6th revealed a 17 days count to December 23rd, the predicted date that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis. This video will talk about how this school shooting in St. Louis was pointing to November 3rd, as were so many other prophetic signs also pointing to November 20, uh, 3rd. This is how God's big picture of signs works. It's an interconnected web and it is a trail of signs. In the shooting, three people were killed and seven people were injured, which hinted at the 10 days count from the day of the shooting to November 3rd. And in Bible prophecy, a 10 days period is symbolism for the end times period of the Antichrist's rule. And also this school shooter killed three people. And a main aspect of this story is how this shooter walked into the school with tons of rounds of ammunition. It is said in the news articles regarding this story that witnesses said that he had a dozen 30-round ammunition cartridges. 30-round ammunition cartridges and three people killed, hints at 33. And that is why from this date that this shooting occurred on October 24th, it is 10 days to the date November 3rd, 11-3, which hints at 11 times 3 equals 33. And then from this date, it is 33 days to the day it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis. And the shooter's name in this shooting that killed three people with a dozen 30 rounds of ammunition is Orlando Harris. The other main reason for why this 33 days connection is prophetically relevant is because the number 33 symbolizes the eclipse, as does St. Louis. The path of totality of the Great American Eclipse Judgment Warning Sign in 2017 passed over St. Louis. It entered the country in the 33rd state and exited the country on the 33rd parallel, 33 days before the great sign in heaven that is described in Revelation chapter 12 was fulfilled in the night sky. And so the number 33 is symbolism for the eclipse, and so is St. Louis. And this is actually the reason why Kamala Harris will die in St. Louis. It is because it will be pointing to the eclipse. But more regarding the symbolism in St. Louis is explained more in this video and in other videos.
Also, this symbolism regarding the number 33 includes a 33 days count. It was the 33rd state, 33rd parallel, and 33 days. And so this 33 days connection from this school shooting in St. Louis to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis is very much pointing to the eclipse. And it will be astounding confirmation that the judgment warning that was the great American eclipse is judgment warning for abortions because this is what school shootings symbolize. They are judgment warning for abortions. All right, in this shooting in St. Louis by a shooter named Orlando Harris, which is 10 days before the predicted date that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis, there were three deaths, including the shooter, and there were seven injured for a total of 10. And this confirms the 10 days from this shooting in St. Louis by a shooter named Orlando Harris to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis. The shooting was on October 24th, and it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis on November 3rd. This seven people injured and three deaths also hint at seven days from this shooting to the predicted date that NASA's helicopter will crash on Mars on October 31st, and then three more days to the day it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash on November 3rd. It is through the death of Kamala Harris that the Antichrist will rise to power through her replacement. And in the Bible, a beast is used as a metaphor for the Antichrist, and this beast has seven heads and ten horns. This seven people injured out of a total of ten people that were killed and injured in this shooting hints at this. Also in Bible prophecy, a red dragon is used as a metaphor for the Antichrist, and this dragon in Bible prophecy is said to be thrown down from heaven to earth, which is what the crash of NASA's helicopter onto the red planet Mars will symbolize, as will Kamala Harris's fall from the sky in a plane crash. The call to police about the shooter came in at 9.11 a.m., the shooter was 19 years old. God uses the number 19 as symbolism for 9-11. First of all, it symbolizes judgment on the nation. For example, in Luke 17:17, 17, 17, Jesus judged the nation of Israel after he healed 10 lepers, nine of which were Jews, and there was one foreigner. It was only the one foreigner that thanked him and praised God, the other nine Jews didn't thank him or praise God, and that's when Jesus judged the nation. It was nine out of ten that didn't thank him and praise God. The number nine is the most important number in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections that is only being explained on this channel, as from the Bible it symbolizes God's judgment. The numbers nine and ten pair together also as judgment on the nation, as I just explained. And also, on 9-11, the two planes struck the two towers 17 minutes apart. And that's why this passage of nine Jews that didn't thank him and praise God out of ten occurs in Luke 17:17, 17, 17, which is symbolism for the two planes that struck the two towers 17 minutes apart. Also, it is explained in other videos, but through the 9-11 events, God was pointing to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 10. And the number 10 is symbolism for God's perfect order. The number 9 is symbolism for God's judgment. 9 plus 10 equals 19. Hence, 19 symbolizes God's perfect judgment. And so again, the shooter was 19 years old, and the call about the shooter came into the police at 9.11 a.m., and it was on 9.11 that God pointed to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 10. And it was a judgment warning, and the number 19 symbolizes God's perfect judgment, which was what the 9.11 events were, a warning of God's perfect judgment. The shooter was shot down by police at 9.23 a.m. 
and God frequently pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist. God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together in order to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school and became president in 2009. The initial reports were that the teenager that was killed was 16 years old, but she was just about to turn 16. So the stories had to be corrected, which emphasized her age, and therefore it emphasized the number 16. 16 is 4 times 4, which hints at the 44th president. And the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis 10 days after this shooting in St. Louis is so that the 44th president can become president again and the Antichrist. The teacher that was shot was 61 years old. The number 61 is the 18th prime number and 18 is 6 plus 6 plus 6 which in Bible prophecy is symbolism for the Antichrist. This is why Barack Obama was born in 1961, and he will become the president again and the Antichrist at the age of 61. The shooter was 19 years old, the teacher was 61 years old, and the Antichrist was... Barack Obama was born in 1961. The teacher's name was Jean. It was my friend Jean that I visited in St. Louis in 2009 for a month, and it was with my friends in St. Louis that I saw the movie Knowing. The movie Knowing is exactly what is going on on this channel. Nicolas Cage plays a character that is able, through numbers, to discern future disastrous events. And one of the events that he knows will happen ahead of time is a big commercial jet plane crash. He is able to know the date and the location of this crash. The two deaths plus the shooter hints at two terms plus a third term. Barack Obama served two terms and he will serve a third term as president again after the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, in which he will become the Antichrist. Also, two deaths and a third death, the shooter, hints at the number 23. The Antichrist, the basketball president, wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school. This is because in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus told Peter that the rooster would crow twice before Peter would deny him three times. The big thing about the end times period is that it is a test of faith of quote-unquote Christians that will be tested through whether or not they deny Jesus. The biggest way that people will be tested as to whether or not they will deny Jesus is through what is called in Bible prophecy the mark of the Antichrist. If one takes this mark of the Antichrist, it will be equivalent to denying Jesus. People getting shot is symbolism for this mark of the Antichrist, and so is St. Louis, as it was in the path of totality of the Great American Eclipse, and the two eclipses that cross over each other, the other one coming up in 2024, cross over each other in the middle of the country, right near St. Louis, and they engender a Tav mark which was the inverse of the mark of the Antichrist described in Ezekiel chapter 9. An X is symbolism for chromosomes, and one's genetic code is made up of 23 pairs of chromosomes. Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash in St. Louis will point to the Antichrist and the mark of the Antichrist. As explained many times in other videos, on July 26, 2022, there was extremely prophetic, historic, and destructive flooding in the city of St. Louis. This was 90 days before this shooting in St. Louis. 
by a shooter named Harris, which in turn is 10 days before the day that Kamala Harris is predicted to die in a plane crash in St. Louis. So these 90 days and 10 days connections from the flooding in St. Louis to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis is symbolism for 9 and 10, which as I just explained is symbolism for judgment on the nation. Again, this is symbolism for judgment on the nation because Jesus judged the nation of Israel when nine Jews out of ten that were healed didn't thank him and praise God. And in the Bible, God's judgment on a nation or a people symbolically begins at the gates. St. Louis is known for the Gateway Arch National Park. It is known for its arch, and St. Louis is nicknamed the Gateway to the West. This is why this prophetic flooding in St. Louis connects with this prophetic shooting in St. Louis, which connects with the predicted date that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis, which will be the symbolic beginning of judgment on the nation, which through her replacement will lead to the rise of the Antichrist. And again, 9 plus 10 is 19, and the shooter Orlando Harris was 19 years old. The number 90 is symbolism for the number 9, which is the most important number in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, as from the Bible it symbolizes God's judgment. And 90 days back from this shooting in St. Louis was the day of the prophetic flooding in St. Louis, and exactly nine weeks before this flooding in St. Louis was the shooting, the mass school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, an extremely prophetic shooting sign. And one of the main reasons why it is a very prophetic sign is that Uvalde, Texas is located in between, in the middle of the border town named Del Rio and San Antonio, and is connected to these two cities with the U.S. Highway number 90. Del Rio on the border wall is border wall of security symbolism. San Antonio is symbolism for the Alamo, which is symbolism for the walls of security being breached in the Battle of the Alamo. And all of this and much more is explained in the absolute must-watch Uvalde, Texas shooting prophecy video. In the book of Joshua, Joshua led the Hebrews around the walls of security before they collapsed in God's judgment. Joshua led the Hebrews around the walls of security seven times over seven days, while seven priests blew seven trumpets. It was three sets of seven. There are also three sets of God's judgments in the book of Revelation. This mass school shooting that was in between the border wall of security and San Antonio, which symbolizes the walls of security being breached, was 21 days, which is three sets of seven days, after the breach of security at the U.S. Supreme Court regarding the U.S. Supreme Court's position on abortions. In the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, 21 people died. 21 people died 21 days, which is three sets of seven, after the breach of security at the U.S. Supreme Court regarding abortions, and then 21 days later, 21 people died in a mass school shooting, and school shootings are judgment for abortions, in a city that symbolized the border wall of security being breached. The Uvalde shooting prophetic sign contained Book of Joshua and three sets of seven symbolism, and as explained in other videos, so does the prophetic flooding in St. Louis. 70 rescues by firefighters, the closure of the I-70 highway where Highway 370 meets it, and the 70-mile-wide path of totality of the Great American Eclipse that passed over St. Louis. And as was explained, it connects to the school shooting in St. Louis, in which three people died and seven people were injured, and this also symbolizes three sets of seven. Isaiah chapter 31. 
which begins with, Woe to those who go down to Egypt. God uses the city Chicago as symbolism for the Antichrist who is from Chicago, Barack Obama, the 44th president, and St. Louis is connected to Chicago with the I-55 highway. The I-55 highway also connects to an area of America nicknamed Little Egypt. The path of totality of the great American eclipse passed over St. Louis and then peaked right over the area of America nicknamed Little Egypt. It peaked at 1.17 p.m. and for 160 seconds, which hints at the number 16 and 4 times 4 and the 44th president, who will become president again and Antichrist in the 117th Congress, which is what 1.17 p.m. hints at. In the Bible, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is a prophetic type for the Antichrist. The school in the school shooting in St. Louis is located in between the I-55 highway and the I-44 highway, which hints at the 44th president that is described in Isaiah chapter 31, which describes the Antichrist and begins with, Woe to those who go down to Egypt. One last thing, the shooter's name was Orlando Harris. Harris hints at Kamala Harris, and Orlando hints at the infamous Orlando Gay Nightclub shooting in which 50 people died on the Feast of Pentecost in the Hebrew calendar. And Pentecost literally means 50th day, and that was the day that 50 people died in the shooting in the gay nightclub in Orlando. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs for the gullible that will believe it because they don't have a solid biblical worldview. Most people's spiritual experiences are demonic deception, especially if they are not a true follower of Christ. The New Age or New Spirituality or Consciousness Religion is evil deception from Satan. Satan and demons will give Catholics and New Agers spiritual experiences that they think confirm for them their beliefs. But these spiritual experiences are demonic deception for those that refuse to love the truth and so be saved. There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan. Or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin, and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Please leave a like and upvote the video. And once this prediction has come to pass, share this video with everyone you know and more. Don't stop sharing it everywhere in social media. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com.